Major defense stocks added around $20 billion in market cap yesterday following the events over the last three days. So Northrop Grumman and Lockheed among those still trending higher. These types of moves are not uncommon during times of war. Now a similar surge happened when Russia invaded Ukraine. And you're looking at some of the movement that we're seeing today in Lockheed Martin up just about 1% as well as Boeing, RTX and Northrop also once again moving to the upside. Now these gains coming on, like we just said, a strong day for the stocks. Yesterday we saw a big jump. Northrop coming off its biggest daily gain since we've seen uh, that we've seen since 2020. So just about three years there. But the thought process is just in terms of the amount of spending, what's going to be allocated towards some of these defense companies, given the conflict and the risk that this uh, war could widen over in the Middle East. That's why we're seeing the reaction play out in shares today. Once yeah, and, and from a technical perspective, too, it'd be interesting to look at this for anyone who's trying to figure out if some of the spikes that take place after there are international conflicts or, or events of international conflict where some of the defensive names continue to cyclically in this instance here get some type of attention from investors. Time and time again, there, there has been a little bit of a bottom, a new bottom that gets set in here for Lockheed Martin, at least as of right now, since, and I kind of point back to early 2022, when we were thinking about the initiation of the invasion of Ukraine by Russia and what took place there. Shares jumped by about 25% in that instance. It's held on since then to the majority of that move since the beginning of 2022 until after that. And then additionally here, you think about uh, the move higher that we've seen just over the past couple of days here at the beginning of October, shares up by about 10% Lockheed Martin. And then we had a few of the other key and core names to track.